tonight is expected to be a really, really big night for Lamar Jackson. We expect to see him walk across the stage and humbly and gracefully accept his second MVP award. Now, that's big because a lot of people don't even get one. So for him in his short career to possibly get two MVP awards, that's big. And that'll really put Lamar Jackson on a whole nother level. But just so we can see how much this would really ascend Lamar Jackson's career even more, we're going to break that down in a bit. But first, let's hear a word from our sponsor. You ever been sitting at work and thinking, man... This just ain't it for me. Uh, I want something different. Now, on here, we talk sports all day, every day. And y'all are a big part of that conversation. But have you ever felt like, man, you know what? I want to take these conversations to another level. And I really want to take my love and knowledge of sports and turn it into a passion, turn it into a career. Well, with today's sponsor for this video, Southern New Hampshire University, they have just what you're looking for with their online sports management program. This is something that you can do right from the comfort of your own home. This program allows you to learn the business and economics of sports, sports management principles, and how to collect and analyze data. You'll be able to take advantage of an internship or an experiential learning course within the field. And when you graduate, SNHU doesn't just drop you off. They're there to assist you and help you get ready so you can really hit the job market. They're accredited, nonprofit, and have a radically affordable tuition. So to me, that sounds like a win, win, and a win. For more information, go to snhu.edu slash engravenvids. And the link is also in the description. So you can see if you qualify for SNHU's sports management program. You might even be eligible for financial aid or have previous college credits that could fast track your degree at SNHU. Click the link down below to get started. So how would being a two-time MVP really have an impact on Lamar Jackson's career? Well, we're getting ready to talk about that right now but before we get into it make sure you subscribe to the channel turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single thing and leave a like on the video because it helps out a whole lot and shout out to Lamar Jackson there's been a question especially over uh, the past month and a half what if Lamar Jackson wins his second MVP award would that put him in the Hall of Fame and initially when somebody asked me that question I was hesitant because I was like oh whoa Hall of Fame already after yeah, yeah, two MVPs is big but I don't know, but then I had to look at the list, the list of players that won two MVP awards at least, and let's look at them. Uh, Peyton Manning, he has five. That's crazy. He just, this dude walking around with five MVPs. Uh, Aaron Rodgers has four. Tom Brady has three. Jim Brown has three. Brett Favre has three. Johnny Unitas has three. Patrick Mahomes has two. Joe Montana has two. Kurt Warner has two. Steve Young has two. All of those guys, and minus Patrick Mahomes, but all of those guys are in the Hall of Fame. But we know Patrick Mahomes will be in the Hall of Fame for sure. So with Lamar Jackson getting ready to possibly, most likely, win his second MVP award, I mean, put him in there. Like straight up, put him in there. And something to think about, like something to seriously think about. With Lamar Jackson literally Every single year that he starts for the Baltimore, every single year, because obviously in 2018, that was his rookie year. He didn't start at the beginning of the year. But every single year for the Baltimore Ravens that Lamar Jackson has been their starting quarterback, he has always been in the Hall of, excuse me, my, my fault, my fault. He's always been in the MVP conversation. All, every year, every year. 2019, obviously, I mean, you saw how that went. That was where he got his unanimous MVP. Uh, but 2020, he was in the conversation, too. 2021, he was in the conversation. But then in 2021 and 2022, he only got removed because he got hurt. But then in 2023, he stayed healthy. And look what happened. He won it. And with Lamar Jackson, with people realizing, like, hold up, wait a minute. It's not all about passing numbers, but it's about efficiency. It's about what you do. It's about how you make the most of your situation. And they're saying like, oh, yeah, Lamar Jackson, he's like that. Now, uh, with his second MVP, that would, of course, take him to a whole nother level, a whole nother level, which we talked about. But something else that would take Lamar Jackson to a whole nother level, which is still, of course, in the realm of possibilities. And it's, it, they were right there. They were so close. But obviously we saw how that went. Would be Super Bowl. It would be a Super Bowl. And that is really 
one of the last things that Lamar Jackson, that's the next biggest thing that he has to accomplish. Well, that is the biggest thing that he has yet to accomplish. Because, again, he got the MVP, got it once, and expected to get it twice. He got all pro honors. He done got – he breaks records every other week that he plays. There's always something new. He, he done got all these different stats and awards and recognitions and all that. But the next thing that he needs to do – to continue to solidify himself even more is the Super Bowl. That's it. The Super Bowl. And a lot of people try to look at Lamar Jackson and say, ah, oh, he ain't got no Super Bowl, so he ain't nothing. But they fail to realize, like, <laughs> the Super Bowl, it ain't so easy, my friend. And not many people win those things. Obviously, it's only one quarterback every year. That wins the Super Bowl. And recently it's just been a lot of uh, Patrick Mahomes winning the Super Bowls. Um, Tom Brady, of course, too. But um, Patrick Mahomes, he's been that guy. We'll see if that changes this Sunday. But with Lamar Jackson, a lot of people, they will try to use that against him. Like Lamar Jackson is the only quarterback not to win a Super Bowl. There was something interesting. That I saw a couple of weeks ago And it's it, it, because we know that Lamar Jackson Is obviously judged with a different criteria Than a lot of other quarterbacks But I saw this a couple of weeks ago and I was like oh That is very very true uh, It came from my guy uh, C. Hughes He said uh, Lamar Really can't ever have a bad game Like his peers without being questioned If he can play the position And That is so true Because people will watch Lamar Jackson go out Throw five touchdowns. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that was cool. People will go watch him run for over 100 yards, get two touchdowns in the game. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that was cool. Nice, nice, nice. But the second, the second, let me know if I'm wrong. I'm not for this one. But the, the second that he goes out and has a bad game, people say, oh, he'll never be able to do it. Oh, he'll never be able to win the, the big one. Oh, he ain't quarterbacky enough. Oh. Lamar Jackson just can't get it done. Oh, should he have played a different position? It never fails, and it's been like that for years, and it obviously doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Because even after the AFC Championship game, and that obviously was not a good game from Lamar. Wasn't his worst game, but certainly wasn't his best. Um, but after that game, after the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson lost, the question was asked, Will Lamar Jackson ever win a Super Bowl in his career? And it's funny because those questions, and I get it because of the timing of everything. It was an AFC Championship game, and that was a game to get to the Super Bowl. But the questions like that, they always come about when Lamar Jackson has a bad game. That's when people want to question his career, when he has a bad game. After, after good games, people won't be like, oh, yeah, he's this, he's that. No, 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 no. After a bad game, it's like they sit back and they wait. And after a bad game, they'll be like, oh, well. Can, is he going to ever be able to do this? Is he ever going to be able to do that? Is he ever going to be able to accomplish that? And it's like, come on now. It's, it's just such a lack of consistency. But tonight, it's expected that Lamar Jackson shows why he's consistently been in that MVP race when he plays. And tonight, it's expected that <laughs> he's going to win his second MVP and that's a beautiful thing I don't expect this one to be anonymous like the first one was because there was a lot of conversation amongst people why I should go to this guy why I should go to that guy and some people had some valid reasons and whatnot but with Lamar Jackson expected to win his second MVP um, this really puts him in a whole nother category of quarterbacks